Are you bad at picking color schemes for your Joomla sites or you just don't have a lot of time to do that? Today I'm going to show you a tool that will take care of all of that. Brought to you by MySites.Guru. Do you have a Joomla site? Of course you do. Head on over to MySites.Guru and get a free site audit for it. Hey there Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 289 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite tools and extensions for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also work on Joomla sites, build them, maintain them, migrate them to Joomla 4, update them to 5. If you're looking to hire someone short-term or long-term or just to get you out of a spot, send me an email, tim at cybersalt.com. Okay, let's turn attention to screen and get looking at this tool. I want to give a shout out to Elise Fulteen for developing this tool. That's Elise there on the left-hand side. It's a picture taken with her and my wife and myself uh, after we got caught in a rainstorm at J-Day uh, USA in Austin last year. Her website is coolcatcreations.com, so head on over and check that out. The tool she has created is located at colors.joomla.com. Here's Cassiopeia, the default template for Joomla 4 and Joomla 5. And basically what you can do here is randomly pick some color combinations until you find something that you want for your site. And then you can add that CSS to your site. Let's see how it works. So uh, there's something that she's started out with here, but let's go down to our option here and say, generate something colorful and we'll click it. Well, that's colorful, but if you don't like that, click it again. Click it again until you see something you like. Something less saturated, all right. Less, something more, more serious, please. You know, just keep working away. You can see how it looks everywhere on the site by scrolling down and previewing. And you actually can see down here the different colors for the different areas and if you want to change one subtly you could always do this click on the color and then just change it to what you want it to be anyways once you have everything the way that you want let's just get something there you go that's more obvious for a change once you've got everything that you want what you have to do is scroll down here to save colors and download user.css so we're going to do that and we get prompted to download a file CSS user.css cascading style sheet document. I'm going to save this to my computer and now I'm going to open it. Now you can open it in your favorite file editor. You can use Notepad, what something that will open up a text file. I hear this the tool that I'm using has everything color coded, but you don't need that. But check this out there's going to be the CSS styles for each part of the site. It even has handy notes for which part of the site that color changes. Now, I'm going to go Control A and I'm going to go Control C to copy. All right. And now I'm going to go to plain Jane Joomla 5 install with the sample data there. And we're going to apply this CSS very easily. To do that, we log into the back end of the site. Now I've got the dark mode running here on my desktop. So let's change this to light mode using the dark mode, light mode button that you can see how to add from a video on my channel. Now we're going to click on system and then we're going to click on site templates. There's only one template installed here and we want to put this in Cassiopeia anyways. So we go to Cassiopeia details and files. Now we want to create a file called user.css and we want that file to go here in the CSS folder under media templates site Cassiopeia, the CSS folder. But just because we've clicked on that does not mean the file we need will be created there when we click new file, what we need to do is click new file and then select the folder that we want that to go to. So we'll highlight CSS, even though this is closed, it's highlighted and we'll create that file. U-S-E-R and the file type will be .css. All right, now we're going to click create and that file will be created and open. I'm just going to paste all that CSS that we previously copied into the user.css file and let's go and we will click save and now we're going to go back to the page and refresh and there is the scheme that we just randomly selected and placed there in the user.css so thanks at least for a great tool and time saver until the next time enjoy your joomla sites and god bless